Good day to you all. My name is Michael Siziva and with me is Netai Matanile. Today we'll be showcasing an ethical working tool called WAPT. WAPT allows auditing of the security of the web applications. It does so by scanning the web pages of the deployed web application, looking for scripts and forms where it can inject data. So this tool is found within the Kali Linux toolkit. So to select WAPT, we go on to applications. And under applications, we navigate to web application analysis. And then go on to select web vulnerability scanners. And under web vulnerability scanners, we select WAPT. WAPT starts by launching all the optional arguments which are found within the tool. So today we are going to perform a scan on the web application code 0.webappsecurity.com. So we will start by performing a scan on our target website. So to do this, we type in the command wapt and we are going to set our verbosity level to true to print each and every attack which is found within our target URL which is 0.webappsecurity.com So our scan is started and this command will load all the wapt modules to scan our web application for the vulnerabilities. And after the scan has been finished, a report will be generated and stored under this file path. So to view our report, we are going to copy our file path then navigate to the folder and in our folder, we can see our report in HTML format. So we are going to open that report. And from the report, on our target website, 0.webappsecurity.com, we can see a summary on the several categories where the scan was performed. And from the report, we can see that under backup file, WAPT managed to find 12 vulnerabilities. And under content security policy configuration, WAPT managed to find 27 vulnerabilities. So now we are going to perform a scan on a specific module. So to perform a scan on a specific module, we are going to type in the command wapt, setting the verbosity level to true on our target URL, which is 0.webappsecurity.com, and we are going to specify the module backup. So this module backup searches for scripts or copies of scripts on the web server so these copies of scripts if they are found on the web server may make our website very vulnerable to attacks since it will re it may reveal information such as source code or credentials which might be used by hackers to attack the website. Our scan is finished on the module backup 
so to see our report we copy the file path then navigate to the file path and this is our latest generated report so under backup file our PT managed to find 14 vulnerabilities and it goes on to show us where the vulnerabilities we found for the backup files so these are the backup files which are found on the web on the website application and the WAPT also goes on in our report we are able to see a solution on the vulnerability which was found on the specific module backup which we have scanned so the report is recommending a solution to manually delete the backup files or remove it from the web root and also to also deactivate automatic backups so that workers would be able to take advantage of these backup files which are on the web application so we are also going to go back to our Kali Linux WAPT tool and also want to perform a scan on a specific module so we are going to type in a command WAPT and now we want to perform a scan to evaluate the security level of content security policies on the website so we are going to specify our module CSP and our scan has been performed and from this we have noticed that there is no content security policy on our web application we again navigate to this path and select our latest generated report and go on to content security policy configuration where 28 vulnerabilities were found from the report what PT has described Content security policy is an added layer of security that helps to detect and mitigate certain types of attacks which include cross-site scripting and data injection attacks so since our content security policy is not set this means our website is also vulnerable to attacks so our PT the report displays the vulnerabilities which are found in our web application and it also goes on to recommend a solution on how we can make our website secure by adding the content security policy http header to a web page Thank you.